have I got a recipe for you today. I'm going to show you how to pimp up your sardines on toast. Come with me. Here we go, back in the kitchen, a little bit of market inspiration. Got some nuts from my man Michael next door, some cashews, and I'm going to make a fermented garlic aioli using no eggs. No eggs, we're using cashews, so it's a vegan aioli. So if you want to use it for a vegan recipe, you're great, but we're going to put it with sardines, and I think sardines go really well with this sauce. Okay, what we need to do, blender. We've soaked our cashews for a minimum of two hours. You just want to get them nice and soft. You can soak them overnight, so if you forget about them and make them the next day, that's perfectly fine. Into our blender with our nuts. We're going to keep some of the water just in case we need it. Into the blender with the nuts, we've got some Dijon mustard. So it's just like making a normal mayonnaise, but we're not using eggs. We're going to put some shallots in there, a little bit of depth of flavour, and some vinegar, a bit of white wine vinegar. And then here, we've got this really interesting stuff. This is fermented garlic, or black garlic. So basically, you can make this at home. If you've got a rice cooker and you get some really nice plump garlic bulbs, enough to fill the bottom of your um, uh, rice cooker, put the lid on, put it on warm, and then leave it for about two weeks. And you get this amazing smell come through your house of this garlic. And over a period of that time, it ferments and all the sugars convert uh, and they turn this wonderful black color. Very easy to do, but if you don't want to do that, you can buy it from your local market, like Pran Market. So into our blender, turn the little thing on. And what we're going to do is blend it at high speed. And then, just like an aioli or making a mayonnaise, we're going to add the oil. Look out. And then some of that liquid that we soaked our nuts in, we're going to return to the nuts. And you want to watch out because the machine spits. Okay, we'll have a quick little look and see where we're at with our aioli. Ooh. So it's more like a peanut butter at the moment, but we just need to blend it until it gets really nice and smooth. Scrape down the edges. Make sure it's all nice and loose. Okay, I'll add some of that water to it. Go okay, back on. Okay, let's have a look. Yum! And there we have a beautiful nut aioli. And it's got this wonderful fermented garlic flavour. It's a little bit funky, but it's really delicious. It's like a garlicky peanut butter or cashew butter. Okay, now for our sardines on toast. I've got some beautiful Turkish bread that I'm just going to cut like so. We put it onto our char grill just to toast up and get lovely and crunchy. I love tin sardines. They're such a great, they're a power breakfast. They're a great snack, really savory. And the thing is, you can eat everything. You can eat the bones, the whole lot. Just the way they've been cooked in the tin, they become so wonderful and soft. Mmm, and packed full of omega 3s, lots of protein. Really are super, super healthy. Let's have a look at our Turkish. It's not quite cooked. Want to get this nice and crunchy. So there's that contrast between the, the soft sort of sardines, the lovely savory, smooth um, cashew aioli, and then that crunchy Turkish bread, which is nice and light, and a little bit of sesame seed. So delicious all round. So if you come to Pran Markets and you're looking for some wonderful bread or baked products, go next door to Noisette and speak to Alicia. She will sort you out with some beautiful bread. So here we go. Our Turkish is spot on. It's lovely and crunchy and crispy. We just take it over here now. And what we're going to do, we do lashings of our aioli on top. So a nice little bit of our aioli. We used to do a breakfast at Billy Cart Kitchen. We'd do smoked sardines with this beautiful aioli and fried egg and some toasted nuts on top. So just mush that in, get all those beautiful sardines on top. 
a little bit of lemon, and then across the top, salt, and a little bit of pepper. You could use parsley, but why not have a little bit of fennel on top? Yeah, ha, ha. There we go. That is the perfect little snack, a great little breakfast. And in fact, I might even have a bite now. Mmm. Oh, yum. So good. <laughs>